Hi everyone, I'm Aditya and I'm from School of Science and Technology, Singapore. I am participating under the RCEP Autonomous Driving U19. My team consists of myself and I'm from Singapore. I have a great experience in both robotics and RoboCup. I have participated in many competitions and won awards. It's also my third time participating in CoSpace. The exclusive summary of the preliminary challenge. The challenge task of the preliminary challenge is to undergo line tracing while going through the checkpoints. I'm participating under the RCAP Co-Space Autonomous Driving U19. The problems I investigated was finding optimum path landing, switching from line following programs, and effective line tracing. The method was I incorporated PID and on black road programs newly. I also searched for the shortest route to cut down on time. I used the color markers on the road for shortcuts. My average timing was one minute, and the fastest timing was 58 seconds. The conclusion is that to develop a very effective line tracing program, so they have helped me in much of the task. Also, I learned to adapt to different types of map, like the ones in the practice in the software, as they will train me with the necessary scenarios. Challenge task analysis. The challenge mission is to program a virtual robot to drive through the map from the start to the end and pass by the checkpoints along the way to complete successfully. Mini task. The entire mission can be broken down into mini tasks as such and effective line tracing. If all the mini tasks are completed, the entire mission can be completed. AI algorithm and resources. PID is an effective line tracing program that mainly relies on error, which is the distance between the robot's current position and optimum position. The aim is to bring error to zero as much as possible. So this is how the flowchart will look like. When I run my program, it will set the optimum position as this. If you to take example that arrow is equal to minus one, you will take as 15 multiplied by minus one. That will be proportional. For integral, it's some error divided by ki. Some error is some error plus last error. And this thing will be developed by 42. For derivative, you'll be kd multiplied by delta error. Kd will be 62 and delta error is actually error minus last error. You add all these three values together to get an output response. And you execute this output response and give feedback to the optimum position. On Black Road. On Black Road is a program that enables me to switch to switch across different color, color sensing lines, where first it senses white line, but now it senses black. For line tracing segment, I'll use this. So yellow is where this thing starts. So I'll run PID all the way till senses yellow. If it still doesn't sense yellow, it will continue PID. But if it senses yellow, it will run on Black Road program. And since sign is at the end, if it senses cyan, it will end on Black Road program and continue PID. Tools and resources. The tools and resources I used were the RCAP Academy YouTube channel, coding materials for the practice map, the practice map, and the trial map sent prior to the prelim. As a result of using these tools and resources, I have a better understanding of operating the software, new coding skills, and the possible scenarios. Implementation. PID will allow the robot to line trace more effectively. Rather than a big bang scenario, it will allow the robot to adapt to the line and trace at a higher speed. By using on black road, I am able to use a shortcut that will help me in saving time. As a result, I'll be able to achieve a better timing. Tools and resources. By using the tools provided, I'm able to practice my program, for example, PID in Speedway practice map and on Black Road in Eco Garden practice map. I'm able to also learn other people's programming and implement it. Debugging. Due to how fast the robot goes, it easily slips out of the line. I had to change the values of the speed. Hence, I started with a base speed and started building up. Also, since there were markers right in front of the checkpoints, I had to slow down the speed so they will be able to sense it and move. Hence, I tested with the speeds after passing checkpoints. Conclusion and further work. I feel satisfied as I'm now able to complete the mission at a much faster time with a higher speed. In the future, I would like to spend more time working on the KD, KI, and KP in my line tracing program and increase my robot reliability. The improvement of my line tracing program Originally, it, I used Big Bang and the speed was 50 and estimated time was 1 minute 45 seconds. But now since I'm using PID, the, the speed is 70 and my estimated time is 58 seconds. 
learning experience. I've learned to be more effective, efficient, disciplined, hardworking, and be with determination. I have gained new insights of new programming skills and a stimulation of how robots could impact our society and humanity. I would like to wish other co game players that they should work hard and train. Even if you fail, learn from your mistakes as it will make you stronger. Just push on to success. Reflection. I'm happy that I am able to incorporate PID newly into my program as I develop myself with new skills and talents in programming. I feel that I can continue to improve my PID program. I could also try to increase my speed in PID. I've given in my best and I hope to continue to develop myself continuously. Now let's see my run. Thank you for listening to my presentation.